I want to welcome you back to Black Side. We're going to talk about Ice Cube receiving backlash for meeting with the Trump administration. First, I'd like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification button. Hit that like button. Also, comment on this video if I can make a donation. Go to PayPal. Ice Cube met with the Trump administration to talk to how they can improve the platinum plan. This was found out because Katrina Pearson, a member of Trump's campaign, sent out a tweet thanking Ice Cube for meeting with the Trump administration. And I believe what Ice Cube was doing was sending a message to Joe Biden and the Democrats. There are two parties. Our votes should not go to one party. It should be up for grabs. Dr. Claude Anderson talked about this so many times. He said our votes should not belong to one party. Each party should have to put whatever plan on the table, we decide what plan is better for black America and accept that plan for that party. Basically, Ice Cube wanted to see what the Trump campaign was offering different from the Joe Biden campaign. I haven't heard Joe Biden say anything at all about the black community in a plan for the black community. I haven't heard Joe Biden not once talk about reparations. I haven't heard him talk not once about the inner city. But we have people attacking Ice Cube because Ice Cube happens to be a businessman. And when Ice Cube has a film, he just doesn't go to DreamWorks. He goes to 21st Century Fox. He goes to several companies for distribution. Whoever gives him the best deal, they can have his film. And that's what we really need to do. Joe Biden is a racist. Joe Biden has put more black men in jail under that 1994 crime bill than people all around the world. We know that Trump is a racist. But when you have to deal with two races, you have to sit back and take a look at their plans and see, do you really want my vote? Because if you want my vote, you have to give me what I want. And that's what it's all about. I can care less if Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Trump, Mike Pence give me reparations as long as I get them. And we have to have a different mentality when going to the table. We got people defending Joe Biden a racist, a crook, like that's they damn daddy. Like they protecting the slave master. Well, we got them better than what we got here. Neither one of them is for us, but if they want our vote, we should have some conditions. We should have something on the table to where we can sit down, look at both of these plans, and not just say because a man has a D by his name that he automatically gets 90% of our vote. Because we don't like Trump. I can care less about Trump's attitude. I could care less about Joe Biden's attitude. All I care about is the deliverance of goods and services to the black community. Many of you won't like this because you are still on that damn plantation. The Democrats haven't delivered us shit in 50 years. All they do is make freaking promises. Change you can all believe in. But damn it, I ain't seen no change in the inner city. All I've seen is the conditions get worse. And why, why can't we put our vote up for grabs? We could be the true difference in an election. You give us what we want, you will win the election. We haven't put pressure on Pelosi, Schumer, the DNC, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris. We voting for a man who don't even like black people. Oh, he was he, oh, he Uncle Joe. He Uncle Joe. He would he would he would bomb a vice president. 
vice, he picked the white man because he was a racist to make white males feel comfortable. And we know what Kamala Harris did to us in California. This bitch had black men working when they were supposed to be released for jail for the state of California. We know what she did with Kevin Cooper and so many black. We know what she did to Mytrice Richardson and her family. Who cares? Our votes, our voting is about goods and service. It's not about your damn feelings. It's not about who you like. It's not about who you want to have a beer with, who you want to have a meal with. Shit, I already got friends. I could care less about Trump. Just give me my shit. Just give me my reparations. That's all I care about. You vote for a damn man, Joe Biden, whose son out there smoking crack, making million dollar deals. His ass should be in jail, but your damn son in jail, and you running around out here protecting the slave master. Fuck out of here with that shit. This shit got me mad. Because I want black people to learn this is a business. This ain't a social fucking club meeting. Our votes mean something. Until you teach these people out here. That our votes are valuable. And they can be valuable if you learn, if you stop that bullshit, if you learn that you could determine every election for the next 30 or 40 years with a slip, with a slide to go either one side or the other. But you unwilling to try that because you will follow CNN, MSNBC, and all these paid scum by the Democrats. What the hell have they done for you? Look at your damn hood. If we even tried this in 2020, 2024, do you know they would come on bended knee begging for black folks? We have never put the Democrats in a position where they had to fight for our votes. They have to fight for Hispanic votes. Hispanic people say, if you want my vote, you got to do what I tell you to do. Shit, you think Joe Biden is down in Florida with the same attitude towards black people that he got towards Hispanic people? He down there kissing their ass for his vote. But he look at you like you a damn fool. Well, them niggas going to vote for me anyway. Shit, I can piss on them, and they'll still vote for them because I don't pissed on them before. Don't nobody got respect for a man who doesn't have any pride in himself. Now Ice Cube got to defend himself because all these people attacking him for just saying, I listened to his plan. I want to see what he's actually offering the black community. You can't even do that. You can't even do that. You got to be on the plantation. And most of you motherfuckers in Hollywood, you better follow your master. Because if you don't agree with great gay rights, if you don't agree with who to vote for, who to look at, shit, your ass won't be working. Y'all ain't a bunch of celebrities. You ain't shit. Least, least Ice Cube has enough money and power to where he can talk to whoever you want to talk to. I know you want fuck it. Go unsubscribe. I don't give a fuck. Shit. I just don't like this type of attitude. I'm pissed off. And every time somebody try to expand our horizons, try to put our vote and make our vote valuable, that they are truly attacked by the liberal boule establishment who has done nothing for us but make money for themselves. They gonna be up there kissing Joe Biden's ass if he win. But your damn son, your cousin, your uncle in jail serving 25 years because that bastard passed that 1994 crime bill. I wanna thank you for listening to Black Sight. 
I hope you subscribe to this channel, smash that like button, and also share this video.